Alrighty, good morning everyone. Good morning. What do we got over here? Look over here, we got all sorts of bikes rusted. Some of them are pretty rusted. Some of them look like they're in good shape. Lots and lots of stuff over here. The old Scran Thrift Store. I'm gonna try it with a Yui somehow here. Wow, I know you guys probably can't see in there. I'll try to get a little glimpse. I don't know how well this might show up on camera. Nope, not picking it up. Well, maybe you get it. Nope, all right. Well, that's a whole, mo whole pile of boxes. That has to be, I don't know, 15 feet high by about 30 feet wide. And that's all their stuff that they got over there. Everyone's dropping off tires. Some of them have no tread on them either, so you know they were just dumped here. They weren't donated. The old Scran thrift store. I do like this thrift store. I, I do find a decent amount of good things here. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back, Stackers. As you guys see, we are here in Scran, Pennsylvania. We're going to be doing Wilkesbury, Scran, and we're going to be doing East Stroudsburg. I'm going to skip Mount Pocono. I've kind of been skipping Mount Pocono for a while now. Uh, prices over there, you know, it's about 2 or $3 more expensive than these other thrift stores. And for some reason, Salvation Army at some places just have really weird prices and other places are very affordable. Um, so you kind of get into that mindset of only paying a certain amount. But uh, it's a little bit out of the way, so I'm going to pass on that one for this trip. Hopefully you're going to come across a lot of sweatshirts. It's almost fall. They've been selling a lot of fall stuff. Winter stuff is still a little bit ways away, but uh, sweatshirts are starting to sell on Etsy and eBay. What I'm going to see in these thrift stores now, in the next month or so, is you're going to see a lot of sweatshirts coming in, a lot of fall stuff, a lot of winter stuff coming in, and it's going to be premium stuff. It's not going to be filler stuff. It's going to be the good stuff that they, st they stored in a warehouse somewhere else, which I don't know anything about, but they store all their winter stuff elsewhere, just like their seasonal stuff. You know, when it comes around fall or winter, you see all this Christmas and Halloween stuff. That stuff had to be stored somewhere. It wasn't something that they stored just in the store itself. So uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of good stuff in terms of fall-related uh, items. And uh, very, very hopeful because in about two or three months, when it's actually fall, a lot of people are going to be buying sweatshirts for themselves at these thrift stores. And it's going to be very, very depleted. Just like t-shirts are about a month ago, uh, in the summer months, it just gets wiped out, wiped clean. So now is the time to buy. Uh, it's the, the best time to buy and then sell it relatively soon. So if you are into the fast nickel approach, you can do a fast dime approach right now. So let's get into it and let's see what we can find at these thrift stores today. All right, now I'm checking out, kind of just walking through the women's clothes. Sometimes uh, people like to hide stuff. And well, this is this is a men's jacket anyway. It's not a woman's jacket. Um, so sometimes they put it in the wrong area, but sometimes people like to hide stuff. I found this one jersey. It was hidden in the jacket area right next to Tommy Hilfiger uh, fleece. But the fleece was uh, too shot for me. It was too stained. So... Um, either people put this stuff back or they're hiding it for half off day. So this is half off. This is a vintage. It does have some stains, but I can get these out with an OxyClean. Uh, so you never know. You got to kind of look around and walk into different areas because sometimes people do hide stuff. I know another guy here actually just found a sweatshirt mixed in with the long sleeve shirts and right next to it was some sort of button up shirt so I don't know what brand of button up shirt was but it was very very uh, unique so most likely somebody just stored it there for today and was going to come back and try to get it for half off so you never know you gotta look around I hope not. I just don't know. Uh, 
I think this was just put out. It's only 59 cents. Martial arts, maybe? Okay, next thrift store. Like I was saying about sweatshirts and fleeces and stuff, so this one's pretty depleted as well. Um, I guess this store hasn't started putting out their winter stuff. Because uh, I remember the first time I came here was like in the spring, and this whole area was full. So I don't think they're sold out. I just think they haven't put it out yet. Um, lots of just hangers around this store. And what I've noticed, there's an L.O. Bean fleece. Uh, whenever I buy L.O. Bean or Patagonia, it has to have the patch. It has to have the patch, not even just script logo or a typeface, it has to have the patch. It's kind of like uh, back when Ralph Lauren was really hot. Everyone wanted the Ralph Lauren polo logo. They didn't want to just say Ralph Lauren. Uh, but there's someone who pretty much has a shopping cart this high of stuff. And rather than taking the hangers up there and putting them up there, they just they just leave the hangers everywhere on the rack. So it's kind of frustrating because you'll be going through it and then you'll hit a, a hanger and then you just knock the hanger off to the ground. Then you have to pick up the hanger and put it back. Um, I don't know. People are different. People are different. So I got three shirts. I'm going to walk over to the glassware section. I'm going to stop by the furniture section. I see a nice lamp over there. It's not nice in terms of resale value. It's just nice. I don't know. thought it wasn't that bad. Lots of dressers. Let's go see if there's any million dollar pieces over here. Nope. All right, telescope. Don't find a lot of cast iron at their stores. Got a lot of Pyrex here. See if there's any good ones we have. I think that's Homestead. It's that mushroom print again. It's a larger mushroom. And I think this is the Americana. I like to call it the Colonial Awful. It's like when everything came out the Colonial look. So it's actually a pretty big one. It's $4. That's the Pyrex. If I was to grab one, making a lot of noise, I'd probably grab the two smaller ones. I'm always on the hunt. This is also Pyrex, not it's a newer one. Always on the hunt for a rare one. I think this is glass bake. It is. Alright, here we are, last thrift store, banging out a bunch of shirts. This is a nice one. This is an old one. Chicago, I already have a Chicago t-shirt. This one has some stains on, but it's only a dollar. I can't really go wrong. It's still a banger. Uh, lots and lots of sweatshirts. Overall, this one was a good store. I went over to the youth section, because I usually don't go over here, but a while back, I bought a hockey jersey from a Salvation Army and got like 40 or 50 bucks for it. You got an Aaron Judge kind of t-shirt, but you got this bad boy. Chicago Bulls Jordan jersey. Uh, it's a youth size, but 
I actually had this same kind of jersey uh, in an adult size. I bought it two years ago? The first week I ever had my van, my first van, I bought this at an estate auction. And uh, it wasn't a youth size, it was adult size, but six bucks, I think I could still get 15 or 24. It does have some peeling, but you can't find champion jerseys that often. And when you do, they always sell. So even if I only make 10 bucks on it, I think it's still a good profit to make. We have a vintage, no, it's not vintage, a LeBron James jersey. We got a Mets jersey. That's about it for uh, youth size. You never know when you look around. Um, always the older stuff seems to sell pretty well, even youth size, so I'll grab that. Let's head over here. See what kind of random things they have over here this week. We have a quilt rack, that's what that looks like. Got a little dresser, that's already sold. The old health walker, old exercise equipment. I guess this is where they put the sold stuff. Is this sold? That's sold. So I guess they put the sold stuff in the corner. What are these? Fire King. It's actually, uh, it's a good deal. They aren't Fire King Jadeite though, so I don't know how good of a deal they are. And if I was to sell these at the flea market, I'd only sell them for a dollar. So I'm going to have to pass on those. If they were jadeite, I would grab them in a heartbeat. Here's another one. This one looks like Hazel Atlas. Now this is also fire. I'll put them, with two. put them all together. So that's a good sign. There's probably more mugs of that generation around here. So All right, well, here you go. This looks like Galaxy or Glass Bake. It's Galaxy. Veterans of Foreign Wars. This was either red or pink. Also, Farah King, that somebody's gonna be happy if they find them all together, kind of. Put that over there. So, that's interesting. Oh, we have another one. This one's not as old. Longer Burger, this might be a good one. It's been here a while, so I don't know if it's that great. Hmm. Those are those, uh, Soup bowls, I think they are. Or chili bowls. Interesting, for all those uh, vintage Fire King uh, mugs, there's no vintage Pyrex mugs. And if there was, those are always good to buy, especially if they have like advertisement on them. If you're into glassware. You got a glass bake up there. Got some Norman Rockwell plates. Find these everywhere. These are something you find at auctions in boxes with the cases. Plenty full of those. Here we are with the recap. Thank you for coming along with me on my journey today. Got a couple shirts here I kind of want to talk about. These were kind of my favorite pickups of the day. Got about, I think I spent about 60, 70 bucks today. So it's been overall a good day. That one thrift store always treats me well. Uh, I'll start off with what we just picked up. Nice vintage champion jersey, Chicago Bulls. Uh, you have the champion logo up there. You can reverse this jersey, so watch this. This is like magic. Bam. Now all of a sudden we have a Grant Hill jersey. Pistons. Perfect 90s colors. Uh, great jersey. You get two in one, I guess you can say. So that is a good buy. Since it's a youth jersey, probably like 15, 20 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Uh, Dale Earnhardt, the late Dale Earnhardt, by far the hottest seller in terms of NASCAR. Very, very cool. Uh, if you ever go to like a tailgate, you'll see a lot of Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt memorabilia. He was a great racer. I never even actually looked at the t-shirt. I just saw Dale Earnhardt, saw it was only two bucks and picked it up. Just realized there are some minor holes at the bottom. But that should be fine. It's nothing major. And of course, vintage always sells. Moving on, what we have here is a really, really cool vintage Capital University sweatshirt. And the reason why I grabbed this 
uh, was Capital. Apparently, is a good school that sells. I never even heard of the university. I thought it was something that was maybe around the United States Capitol, also known as Washington, D.C. Uh, you know, a, a small school in the D.C. area. Apparently, it's not and apparently has a pretty good following. So kind of teaches me to kind of learn more about colleges and universities. And I'm, I'm pretty well-rounded with logos and teams and schools, but there are some schools I've never heard of. You know, there's a lot of schools out there and uh, some schools sell, some schools don't. So this is just a daily reminder to constantly stay educated and try to learn more and more that you can never know it all. Lastly, grab this awesome Penn State sweatshirt very, very big logo, kind of like a cartoonish logo to it. Um, I'm probably going to keep this for myself. I don't really keep a lot. I'm not even a big Penn State fan, but living in Pennsylvania, well, this is a size 2XL, and I wear a medium. But these vintage sweatshirts do sometimes feel a little bit different. This one looks like it's most likely an extra large or a large, so it might still be too big for me. But uh, I don't have a lot of Penn State stuff. I wear random schools sometimes if I don't have my own alma mater. And... uh Football season. It's college football season. Get this stuff up now, and uh, you're going to get a premium for this kind of stuff. So don't sit on it. Now's the time to list it. Now's the time to list colleges. I drove by Wilkes University, and I saw a bunch of students walking around getting used to the campus. So college is here. School is here. It's that time of the year. And thank you again for all the support. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.